Hey, this is Ryan from 60 Cycle Hum, the guitar podcast. And uh, today I'm going to change the tuners out on my Epiphone Les Paul SL here. This is the same one that I've been doing videos of. It needs new tuners badly. It has these, uh, these cheap deals here, which I'm honestly just, I can't stand them. From the moment I unboxed this thing and tuned it up, I was like, I got to change these tuners. They're just super cheap. Uh, it's hard. It would be hard to show it, but like the, 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 the gear here, kind of like when you tune back and forth, it doesn't make full contact, and you have a lot of dead space before you make contact with the gear, which sucks. So, anyways, Dylan from Dylan Pickups, who also makes guitars, also makes cables, and he also has a. Uh, an internet radio show called Dylan Talks Tone. He was extremely generous, and he sent me this pack of mini Grovers that he had laying around and wasn't going to use. He's like, hey, you want to throw those on your SL? I was like, yeah, that's a great idea. So he sent those to me. I took the original tuner off, like I had in my hand earlier, and I immediately found out that the mini Grovers do not fit in the hole that's drilled in here already you can see that the base of the shaft is a lot wider so these holes will all have to be reamed out for these tuners to fit in there I'll show a side view here you see it doesn't go in so i'm going to show you how i ream out tuner holes to put more modern tuners in. So what I like to do is measure out how much of the drill bit I need and match that to that little bit of the shaft there and then tape it off so I have a visual aid. So you can see the edge of the drill bit here matches up with the depth that I need to drill. It's not going to drill all the way through the headstock here. I really don't need to go all the way through. And actually, you shouldn't go all the way through because that post doesn't go all the way through. There's another part that's, that drills in there. So let's get started. Cross my fingers. Hope I don't make mistakes. <laughs> Uh-oh, I might need a bigger drill bit. Man, I don't want to go for a, bit, a bigger drill bit. Yeah, I need a bigger drill. All right, I'm back. I need to go down to the garage, get a bigger drill bit. Apparently 3 eighths is too small. One and a half is right on the money. I wonder if there's any markings on here. Dot three nine one. <laughs> so, yeah, no help there. I assumed that would be close to three eighths. It's definitely smaller than a half inch, but half inch is what I got. And this is a hundred dollar guitar. So who cares? All right, we're in business. Moment of truth. A little bit of a dirty hole, but who cares? It's in there. It's looser than I would have liked it to be, but I don't. I just don't have a drill bit for that specific size. Okay, time to loosen all the other strings and get down to business. Well, like an idiot, I was just drilling into the back of this post here and metal filings are coming out. I drilled some really <laughs> sloppy gritty holes here. <laughs> I really uh done a muck of a job here on this ninety nine dollar guitar. Get the hardware out and start tightening these down. Once I get them a little bit tight, then I'll start lining them up just how I want. 
I have a feeling I'll muck that part up too. So the way these work is that this is the top part and it goes down in and screws in and tightens down onto the headstock. So that's what I'm doing right now. Now here's the question. Do I hand screw these in or do I pilot a hole with the drill bit first? It seems to be going in pretty easy. I'm sure I didn't get these perfectly straight, but to be totally honest with you, I don't give no damn. There we go. They're all screwed in. This thing is ready to get strung up, I think. Already it's feeling better. Just touching these tuners is a lot different than the jumpy, cheap feel of these bad boys. All right. It's all strung up and tuned up. Brand new tuners in there. They look great. They're putting a little sloppy, but I mean, what do you expect from me? <laughs> uh, I've been sitting here just kind of strumming it and playing it unplugged for a couple minutes and it hasn't gone out of tune. So I'm pretty happy. The tuners feel a heck of a lot smoother than these stock garbage tuners. Uh, there's no lag when going back and forth, there's just pure contact the whole time, which was really one of my big complaints with the stock tuners. Uh, still, I got to figure out how to get the buzz out of the second fret of the string. And there's a little bit of buzz on the A string and the G string as well. The, uh, the third fret is just too high. So to get this guitar fully playable, in my opinion, I still need to address that issue. I've ordered some tools and I'm going to experiment with doing some fret adjustments on my own. Uh, other than that, I feel like I can actually take this guitar to church and try to play with it this Sunday. So I'll report back and let you guys know how that went if I feel like it's a uh, newsworthy, I guess. All right, thanks for watching. Uh, leave comments, subscribe, do all the things you normally do on YouTube. Later, guys.